Strawberries did really good uh, for this winter season. These are fresh strawberries of the year. So I bought these wireless uh, repeater things. So pretty much I have my Starlink at my workshop, but I have my internet at my house. So as you see, this is my Starlink antenna. Um, the reason why I have it at my workshop is because my workshop is 18 foot tall here in the center. And this pretty much gives it clearance from all the trees around. The issue with those trees is, uh, especially during the rain, uh, water gets on the leaves and stuff, and it uh, just completely deteriorates the signal. Uh, the Starlink itself is very great during the rain and heavy weather. It's just these repeater things that I have between my houses that isn't. So let's see how it works pretty much. You have a, a, a base station right here, and then you have your, um, your antenna, well, pretty much the same as like model and this can go for miles so you live in the country and if you have someone that does have internet and there's you know miles away and uh to get the internet company or whatever doesn't want to bring down internet to your road you can use one of these things to relay that internet and get internet in other places when I first brought my electric to this uh, to this garage, uh, it's about like 400 feet away, and I also ran a Ethernet cable with it. Um, on, I was reading online, and it says that the limitations for the RJ45 or you know Ethernet cable is 300 feet, and I figured eh, it's just a little longer, you know, might work. Didn't work, <laughs> so that's why you got to get one of those things. So as you see, for example, you have your computer and then you have a connection to a camera or whatever that's very far away. You could, again, connect this to anything that, that connects to an Ethernet jack. Um, cameras, routers, um, splitters, you know, anything you want pretty much is just works as a wireless cable. So this is what I was using uh, before as my wireless repeater. Um, it works, but like I said, it's, I'm, I'm noticing I'm having issues with it. Um, typically, I don't buy any Chinese junk crap, even though the one I'm replating is also made in China. It is a reputable, it's a, one of those reputable brand ones, which aren't complete trash. Um, but yeah, I, for this one, the way I mounted it was actually three printed a mount. Here, I'll take this off and I'll show you. Alright, so I 3D printed this little uh, bracket thing, and that fit inside this. Um, and I just had a bolt that went through it. For a new one, I'm just gonna use some zip tie since it doesn't have a proper bracket system. Um, later, I'll probably 3D print a better mount for it, but temporarily it'll work. I'm gonna do a better job at organizing all this. Temp I'm gonna move all this, so that's why I'm not putting much work. But um, I also color coded my wires because I have two going out. I have one for the Wi Fi. Um, the Wi-Fi, and then the second one for uh, the repeater. So if you noticed, uh, the one outside was white, which is this one, and the the, the Wi-Fi access point is black. Here are the colored uh, jacks that you can get. Um, I, I crimp my own cables. Um, I have a tester somewhere. I don't know. I need to find it. But yeah, uh, if you're going to do any sort of Ethernet, which you should. I mean, it's 2023. You know, there's everything is, is connected to the Internet now. So, you know, highly, highly suggest getting uh, these and wiring and doing your own cables. That's one. One more to go. You're gonna do any sort of electrical work make sure to get this this is what's called dielectric grease and pretty much what it does is it prevents arcing uh, between contacts and man is it a life savior um, you just put a little on the tip and that's it smudge it on that's more than enough so again it's dielectric it's non-electric um, and it pretty much helps uh, any any arcing between the contacts and it, it, it helps so much. So if you're living in the country and you're trying to get internet, I would suggest getting Starlink. And if you have someone who does already have internet and, you know, you have a line of sight to them, uh, you could simply get one of these routers, uh, one of these repeater things. Or even within your own property, if you want to get, you know, internet from one corner of the property to another, you know, whatever. Um, instead of, you know, running line and cable and, you know, uh, repeater modes on that, you could just want to run one of these wireless access points. And, yeah, and also with these, uh, with the thing that I installed, you can have multiple uh, stations. So you can have, like, one base station, which emits... And then you can have multiple access point stations. And as you see, these can go very long distance. Uh, they have two models. The one that I got is this model. Uh, this one can do about eight kilometers. 
um, but they have the this model which can go far as you see you can have like one uh, access point and multiple um, uh, clients that connect to it um, they also have a model which there we go uh, which is 18 miles right for even larger distances so you can go very very long distances with this great tool great technology I love it